Only on CBS this morning. Guess what? Oprah's here in Studio 57. Why? She's going to reveal her new book club selection. She's in the middle of her 2020 Vision Your Life in Focus tour, promoting wellness all around the country. Her special guests so far have included Amy Schumer, Lady Gaga, there's more to come with Dwayne Johnson, Tina Fey was there, First Lady Michelle Obama, and actress Tracy Ellis Ross also coming up. So during her recent tour stop in North Carolina last weekend, comedian Amy Schumer was on stage with Oprah to talk about being a new mom. And I heard that one of your takeaways from all of this was that women are just warriors. We are warriors, all of us. I mean, for real. That is what I learned. I didn't just learn how strong I was. I really learned as a whole how strong women are. And, you know, men are great too. And like, that's awesome. And you guys can like throw a touchdown, but like, can you make a baby? Oprah joins us at the table. I, listen, I was thinking about you for the Delta story about the uh, CEO. Yes, I know, two months is extraordinary. Yes. Yes. I started out but giving a week's pay. I remember that. Because when I w had my very first job in television, my first boss, Harold Crump, called us up and gave us a week's pay for Christmas. And so I did that every yeah. year yeah. Yeah. after for I had my 25 own employees. Two years. months is a lot. It right. is a so lot. Yeah, we a have lot. a lot to talk to you about, Oprah. We're going to start with, because you've been making news lately about the documentary. involved. I try not to make news. I know. But okay. I know Oprah told me last night we had dinner and she said, if, if, it, if I didn't have this book club, I would have called in sick today. <laughs> I would have called, called in sick. I would have called in sick. But I do think it's important for people to hear from you personally, for you to address it. I know that you've released a statement. Because you decided to take your name off the documentary involving Russell Simmons um, and his alleged abuse of women. And I think people question, why would Oprah, of all people, do that? Well, first of all, I just want to say that um, I have lived Me Too yeah. since I was nine years old mm -hmm. and was raped at nine, sexually assaulted from nine to 14, and then raped again at 14. And nothing is harder than standing up for yourself when you're 14 and not being believed. And I was not believed by my own family. So I stand in support of these women. I believe them. It was a hard decision because I knew that Russell Simmons had started publicly pressuring me mm -hmm. and that me pulling out of the documentary was going to look like I was being pressured. So what do you he say publicly to and pu He publicly and privately pressured. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so what do I say to that is, for me, and Gail knows this, in all experiences of my life, and particularly when I'm in a crisis, the only question for me is what is the right thing to do? Mm. For and you. For me. Yeah. And so uh, before the public pressure had started, before Russell had gone with his Instagram, I had gone to the, to the filmmakers yeah. and I had said to them, uh, Houston, I think we have a problem here because new information had come forward the very first time this was announced. Yeah. And I said, I think we need to pull out of Sundance. A and if we can't pull out of Sundance, I'm going to have to take my name off. I don't want to have to take my name off because it's going to be a big hullabaloo. But you said pull right. out of Sundance so we can get it right. Yeah, pull yeah. out of Sundance because yeah. I don't care about awards. Yeah. I don't care. I just care about getting it right. And I think there's some inconsistencies in the stories that we need so, to so look at. Russell Simmons has, has, first of all, he's denied all of the allegations vigorously. Yeah. Um, you, again, have said that you unequivocally support these women. Yes. Why are you making it a point to say that, even though you're withdrawing from the... Because I believe that the women's voices deserve to be heard. Yeah. And as an executive producer, I also was in a position where I thought some things were not right. I wanted the context of the story to be broadened. I wanted more women brought into the story. And I will say this, that I thought Michelle Miller's story last week yes. with, 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 with three of the women, one of the women had just been added, uh, Alexia Norton, uh, Norton, Norton Strong, I think is her name. And I had asked that more women be added. When you see the documentary, which I do hope people will see the documentary, I felt that story needed to be brought in. One of the things I said mm -hmm. to the producers is, I don't think that deserves to just be a soundbite. And I can honestly say that I learned more about Alexia Norton Strong in Michelle Miller's story yeah. than I did in, in the doc. So I was asking for changes. And let, let me just say this. I've been an executive producer <laughs> since the beginning of the Oprah show. And there were many times when, you know, people are saying, what's the timeline? Until the thing is on the screen, you have the right to change your mind and make changes. 
And I remember many times on the show, particularly there was a Columbine story we were going to run for the 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And the night before, I pulled it because something about it didn't feel right. And I thought, we are going to cause more school, sh school shootings if we put this on the air. So I've always been in the position as an executive producer, if I say I want changes, usually those are done. So what this has taught me is don't put your name on anything mm -hmm. that you do not have creative, creative but, control over. But some people have perceived this as a victory for Russell. Yeah. Uh, and, and Russell. This is not a victory for Russell, and I unequivocally say that I did not pull out because of Russell. This is not a victory lap for him. I cannot be silenced uh, by a Russell Simmons after all I've been through. And also, you know, I spent three years on trial trying to protect the girls at my school uh, who uh, had accused a dorm parent of sexual assault. Three years on trial and nobody believed them. But Oprah, it struck me as odd that someone would accuse you of not standing up for women and black women in particular. I know. It's ridiculous. To me, that is ridiculous and also ridiculous to think that I could be intimidated by Russell Simmons. Yeah. Or, or anyone. <laughs> I don't think anyone, not at this point. I'm about to turn 66. <laughs> okay. That's the one thing you get when you turn 66. Hard to, you know, and people who were saying that I was silenced or came out because I was silenced, I thought, I'm not silenced. I'm sitting on CBS this morning, which is exactly the opposite of being silenced. So, yes. so I stand with the women. I support the women. And, uh, you know, I do hope people will see the film, even make though, even make their own decisions about it. Make yeah. your own decisions.